Hey YouTube, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to talk about how to get better ping in Fortnite. In most games, ping isn't super important, and there isn't much of a competitive advantage between a player who has, say, 50 ping and another player who has something like 70 ping. In Fortnite, though, things are a little different, because being able to get shots off quickly before opponents, edit without delay, and replace their build is really important and all of that relies on having low ping. So today, I'm going to go over some tricks you can use to lower your ping and gain that edge. Now I'll go into this in more detail later, but just as a quick disclaimer, I wanna make it clear that there are many factors that affect your ping. And so there are some you can control and some you can't. In this video, I'm going to talk about everything that affects your ping, so you can optimize what you can control. And hopefully by the end of this video, using these tips, you'll be able to cut your ping by over half like I did. As always, I will have timestamps in the description that split up this video into the different topics I go over, so feel free to jump between different parts of the video as you see fit. Alright, with all that being said, let's talk about how to lower your ping in Fortnite. The first thing I want to do in this video is define ping. Too many people don't really have a good understanding of it beyond that it has something to do with your connection. But knowing how ping works will give you a better idea of what factors affect it and how to lower it. Okay, so ping is a method of measuring how long it takes to send and receive a packet of data between two devices. In Fortnite, that means ping is just the time it takes to send a packet to the Fortnite servers and then back to your computer. With that, it should make sense that the lower the ping, the better because a lower ping means it takes less time to communicate back and forth between your device and the Fortnite servers. Now to understand how to lower ping, let's look at what affects ping. Since ping is how quickly you can send and receive data, it is dependent on your network connection, not your FPS in-game. In other words, if you have lag caused by low FPS, that is a problem with the game performance on your computer. It doesn't have anything to do with your network connection. A lot of people get this confused because they think their game is lagging due to high ping, when in actuality it is the hardware on the computer that is causing lag. So if you are experiencing any sort of lag, first make sure the issue is with high ping and not with the game performance on your computer. Now once you know that you don't have any problems with FPS, you can move on to lowering your ping. Here's when it is important to know that ping has to do with your internet connection because that is what we have to address to lower it. So when it comes to connection, there are some things you can control and some things you just can't. A big part of your connection and ping is going to come down to where you live. So if you've ever looked in the Fortnite regions, you'll see that your ping is lowest in whatever region is closest to you. And that is simply because it takes less time to send a message a short distance than a super long distance. Now if you don't know what region is closest to you, you can also use this cloud ping service I'll have linked in the description that gives super accurate ping data. These values in the cloud ping service are helpful because they show you your connection to different regions. So if you live close to one of the server regions, but you have a high ping for some reason, that means you can probably lower it other ways. So once you've used the cloud ping service and you can sort of see what your baseline ping is, let's start talking about ways to lower it. While you do this, I encourage you to refresh cloud ping to see what works to lower your ping and what doesn't, as some of these tips might work better for you than others. Okay, so the first tip to lower your ping is pretty simple, and that is just move closer to the router in your house. All this is meant to do is lower the space the signal has to travel between your computer and the router, which will strengthen your connection. Like I said earlier, ping is about sending the message from your computer to the Fortnite servers, and the only part you can really control there is the part where it goes from your computer to your router. So most of these tips are going to have to do with that idea you know, lowering the time it takes from a message to get from your computer to your router. This tip of moving closer to your router is particularly important if you know that right now your router is on the other side of a wall or a floor, like in a basement, because those things are what impedes the wireless signal and increases your ping higher than it has to be. So try moving closer to your router and refresh cloud ping to see if your ping drops at all. Another thing that could be hurting your ping that's pretty easy to fix is sort of overloading your router. This is basically when you have a bunch of different people using demanding services like streaming shows or playing games that eat up all the bandwidth. Your ping could also just be lowered by background tasks you have on your computer that are using Wi-Fi. So in short, you want to limit the amount of tasks you have running and lower the amount of devices you have connected and using the internet. 
because the less demand you're putting on the router, the lower ping you'll get. Also, when talking about routers, it's important to remember that just like an old computer, routers can run slower the older they get. And so if you notice that your ping is unusually high compared to where the server location is, the case may be that you just have an old router. And if you know it's been a couple of years since you got a new router, you might want to look into replacing it to improve your ping. The most important tip of all though that will decrease your ping is connecting your device to an ethernet cable. Since it almost always takes less time to send a message on a wired connection than on a wireless one, if you want to lower your ping, going wired is super useful. In my case, I live pretty far from NA East and NA West servers, but by switching from wireless to wired, my ping went from the mid to high 80s all the way down to below 40. So even for me, as someone who doesn't usually have low ping, I was able to cut my ping down by over half. And with the ping in the mid to high 30s by using an ethernet cable, I have a lower ping than some of the people who live on the east coast and west coast. So really you can see that having an ethernet cable is a big competitive advantage. So if you aren't using one, you're really just putting yourself at a disadvantage. And you really have no excuse to not be playing on an ethernet cable because you can buy them off Amazon for around $10. Um, and even on computers that don't naturally have ethernet ports like on my laptop, I was able to buy a USB converter to ethernet for like another 20 bucks. So really all it costs to cut your ping really drastically is $25. That's a way better investment than you'll ever get buying skins or V-Bucks. Um, so if you take anything away from this video, it should definitely be switched to an ethernet cable. Now if you've done all these things and your ping is still sitting near 100 ms, the problem likely has to do with either your internet plan or your router. Depending on what router and plan you have, your internet speeds may just be limited. So if everything else here fails, take a look into your internet plan and see what you have. I'm pretty sure you should be able to just call your ISP to check your current plan, and depending on what ISP you have, you might be able to call and upgrade your plan without having to buy any new equipment. In the end though, you might just have to upgrade your setup to get lower ping. Okay, that is going to wrap things up for this video. Please do let me know if any of these things helped you, or if there was anything you think I should have mentioned which I missed. As always, if this did help you, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you haven't already. If this really helped you and you'd like to go above and beyond to support me, you can enter my supporter creator code SpookLuke in the Fortnite shop. I normally don't add people, but just this one time, if you enter my supporter creator code and leave a comment below saying you did, I'll accept you to my friends list. Um, so if you want to help me out and take advantage of that, um, please enter my supporter creator code in the shop. Alright, I don't have anything other than that, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I don't think I'm ready, no, not for that jelly, my honey, like we need a proof. That strawberry got me very temporarily out of order in a booth. I don't got nothing to do, feel like I'm stuck in a loop. What's in your fridge? You ain't got water, okay, the handy will do.